Hello everyone, there is another video for you. In this video, what are you going to do? You're going to get into for this show live book A544 into BIOS and will enable the USB boot. Recently, a few of my viewers they request me to make a video, even this is an old fashioned, quite old machine from Fujitsu live book. Okay, uh, still quite strong Core i5 and uh, 4 GB of RAM and SSD in there so I'm going to show you how to enable the USB boot due to reinstall Windows system on it okay so this is my bootable Windows 10 uh, disk if you would like to know how to create it uh, you can check my another videos in my channel okay so first of all what I'm going to do I'm going to keep the charger connected and press and hold to turn off the power okay so once it completely turn off you're not going to see any light in here okay if any one of light from here is on that means the system is on so make sure all of them turned off and quite uh, crystal frosted color should be like that okay so first what i'm going to do i'm going to plug in my usb which is bootable windows 10 plug in here and i'm going to press the power button straight away come back to f2 going to take a while okay so this is the main uh, page of bio settings that is information then we're going to go to system and check uh, device configuration from here what you can do you can see like how many drives are available as you can see the drive one of them SSD which is Samsung and second one is the DVD drive okay so press escape we don't need to do anything because both of them enable make sure your one also enable and now go back to advanced from here you can see uh, most of the important option for USB boot okay so USB boot is uh, honestly part of legacy support so make sure your legacy support is enabled by default you're gonna find your one is disabled I'm gonna show you what happened when you make it disable okay so as you can see now CSM is enabled because legacy is enabled so let's change this legacy support to disable and see what happened okay now if you try to reinstall the system for bootable USB drive it's not going to work why because the legacy is disabled now let's go to security uh, and from the security panel if you go to the bottom one this is called secure boot configuration hit enter as you can see now secure boot is disabled when secure boot is disabled you can't do nothing on it so make sure you go back you go back to advanced and make CSM also enable and legacy yes leave the anytime USB charge AC which is absolutely fine USB 3 controller, of course, you must need to keep it enabled, otherwise, you're not going to get um, you're not going to see your USB drive if that is 3.0 version. Okay, and fan is silent, that is absolutely fine. Security option also good. Now, if you go to boot, you can see all of them. Okay, the reason is the legacy is enabled. When legacy is disabled, you're not going to see all of them. Okay, so boot here is the boot priority order. So first one is Windows boot manager okay and second one is floppy disk either you have or not okay you can save as it is by pressing F10 hit enter straight away if you come back to F12 you're gonna see the boot menu let's check all right as you can see this is uh, called Kingstone okay bottom of this list so I'm gonna choose from here and if I hit enter the system will boot up from the bootable USB drive straight away if it doesn't then definitely I go something wrong in the bootable drive because might be when I created it was a uh, malfunction and stuff like that or might be the USB port is not working okay so if you try in that way and still if it doesn't boot up from the USB make sure you switch the USB port 
to another one connect it in different one and then still if it doesn't work you definitely got go something wrong in your bootable usb drive so let's proceed and check what happened press enter now we're gonna able to see the windows logo okay. so from the boot priority option i did not change windows manager the reason is if you change it to usb first boot then what's going to be happen when the uh, windows setup process would be completed after restart it's going to start from the zero so it's going to be go back to the same point okay it's never going to be finished so whenever system will restart due to complete the installation process it will go back to the beginning again so make sure you don't choose it from the boot priority okay you're gonna choose temporary boot option by pressing f2 okay so now you know what should be the next i'm gonna choose sorry it's quite fast install Okay, so now I'm going to choose this option, which is the United Kingdom. Hit enter. Next, install now. All right, so accept terms and condition. Hit next. And we're going to delete every single partition from here because we don't need it. I want to do the full, complete, clean installation. Delete all of them. Okay. I want to keep only one partition. That's the reason I'm not going to go to new option. I'm going to hit next. And the main process will begin. So let it go to up until 100%. And then... The job would be done anyway that's how you enable the usb boot for this machine i'm going to pause the video just get to 100 percent So that's how you get into BIOS and change the option, whatever you need to do. Let me know in the comment section if you have any difficulties. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.